such a was such a humble man, and he just had the love of Christ. An upstate couple among hundreds making the trip to Charlotte to say goodbye to Billy Graham today, the final day to see him lying in repose in Charlotte. President Bill Clinton was also there paying respects after Reverend Graham died last Wednesday. And 7 News reporter Nikel Smith joins us live in Charlotte. Nikel, tell us about the crowds at the library today. Yeah, Gordon and Amy, all kinds of people from all walks of life lined up once again to visit the late Reverend here at the Graham family home place in Charlotte. Those people include a former president, locals, and folks from out of town. We wanted to pay our respects to Billy Graham. A mission to honor the late Reverend Billy Graham. Even in, in death, he's still reaching people. Brought Ron and Diane Crooks to Charlotte from Easley. I went to my first crusade in Greenville in Textile Hall when I was 16 years old. Crooks says it's something he won't ever forget. Help people apply the Bible to their everyday lives. Lives the Reverend touched even after he left the pulpit as people lined up to see him lie in repose inside a closed casket at the Graham family home place. I came to the Billy Graham Library about two months ago for the first time. Patricia Butler says after living in Charlotte for years, visiting the library has impacted her life. I just feel so much closer to the Lord, and I just truly feel like he's really been a blessing to me. Butler stopped by with her husband and mother. We used to sit in the um, room there and listen to the radio. To pay respects to a man they say tried to save the souls of all people. When you walk through his um, library, you can see all nationalities. That showed he loved everybody. A love resonating with people from all walks of life. I'm just here as another person. Grateful. Former President Bill Clinton stopped by to pause by the closed casket during his visit Tuesday morning. I think he was a profoundly good man who conveyed a simple belief that we can claim kinship with God by asking. A simple message bringing people together to remember the man who delivered it. He's right there in that simple box, but oh wow, it was it was emotional. And Reverend Graham will lie in repose tomorrow and Thursday inside the U.S. Capitol Rotunda. The White House says President Donald Trump will pay his respects there during that time. Reporting live in Charlotte, Nikel Smith, Seven News. All right, Nikel Smith there for two days now. Nikel, thank you.